Hello everyone and welcome back to 50 plus luxury style. This is part two of my entire Louis Vuitton SLG collection and I hope that you enjoy looking at all of these pieces that really have brought me a lot of joy and not only that are super super practical. I use most of them continuously. That being said, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Isabel. I hope that you enjoy this video. And if you do, I hope that you will go ahead and click the button down below, subscribe, hit the bell, and you can get notified every time I upload a new video. And now let's just get right into it. Again, we're gonna go in no particular order. I will let you know if I purchased it new or pre-loved. And we're gonna start with this piece right here. And this, I think, is called the Truce Ronde. Ronde, I'm sorry. Pronunciation, I'm sure, is terrible. And this is a discontinued piece. As far as I am aware, it is just a round little case with a zipper. Inside, you have the washable interior just like your toiletry pouches have. And I purchased this pre-loved and I use this to carry my makeup brushes when I am going somewhere. I thought of selling it some time ago because I wasn't sure what to do with it, but I really absolutely love it. So I've definitely kept it and it is something that I use a lot when I travel. The next thing that I wanna show you is also discontinued and no longer available, and they are my Truce collection. And we're gonna start with the largest, which is this one right here, and this is the Truce 28. And as you can see, it's just beautiful canvas, no vaquetta anywhere. And inside it's got the washable interior also and I have some things in there. I keep all of these items in the bag because I always use this when I travel. I definitely love to take this with me. And so this is the 28 purchase pre-loved. Next one is the Truce number 23. Again, this is discontinued, beautiful gold zipper canvas everywhere and inside again the same setup as the larger one it has the washable interior and again this one has a lot of items in there because i just used it for a short trip these are just absolutely wonderful wonderful items for travel and the last one that i have is the truce 19 and I actually have two of them. I know, I, 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 I'm almost ashamed to show you this. Now these two Truce 18s, although they are the same, you will see that there's a definite difference in the canvas. And this is a vintage piece. This has the Eclair zipper, which is in desperate need of cleaning again, I've mentioned it in my other video. I will do, I will clean them probably next week, but it has the Eclair zipper. This is much older, same setup as the other one. And I use this one to keep all of my cords and things for travel so that I can find them. Otherwise I have no clue where my things are. And I always keep, uh, well, I usually keep an Alka seltzer in there also, but anyhow, it's in perfect shape, perfect interior. And again, this is the older piece. As you can see, the canvas is a little duller and the zipper, well, it's black because it needs to be clean, but it is the old style zipper versus this one right here. Also the Truce 18, it is a newer piece in comparison to the other one. You can see it's got the new LV zipper on there and I, don't use this one at all. I've just kind of kept it in my closet. It's got the same interior and just wonderful, wonderful pieces. 
Now the next SLGs that I want to share with you are available when you can get your hands on them and they are the toiletry pouches and I have the all three sizes. This is the 15 and this is the first one that I purchased. I bought this one a few years ago and this one is made in France as you can see and it's got a little spot on the tab so I must have touched it with something and all but this is what it looks like it is in just perfect shape and I use this on the daily this is what I use to carry my cosmetics to work when I'm using a large bag or a never full even a Clooney BB this will fit in there I think this is one of the most versatile cosmetic pouches that LV has the next one that I have is this one right here, and this is the toiletry pouch in the size 19. So this is the middle size, and this is, I think, the second one that I purchased. This is a more recent purchase. I think I purchased this last year. This one is made in Spain. And I have not used it a lot, but I wanted to purchase it before the price increases kept on happening. So I also added to the collection. And last but not least is the Toiletry Pouch 19. Also a recent purchase uh, from last year. This one again made in Spain. And I have used this one, not a ton, but I just recently used it on my last trip. And I think all of the toiletry pouches, whether it is the older truces or the new pouches, are just excellent, excellent value for your money. They are very, very versatile and you can use them for a lot of different things and I love that wipeable interior. This next pouch, I generally consider it a handbag because I don't use it as a pouch, but I want to share it as an SLG because it is a pouch. It is from the men's collection and it is this beautiful split eclipse in the gorgeous silver monogram canvas. It is just, I think, really a showstopper piece has a beautiful zipper silver zipper and when you open it just give me a second I have it stuffed it has this beautiful black interior it's got it's got a it's got card holders right up here and a slip pocket in the back so here's the slip pocket, here's the card holders, and it is just a beautiful piece. I purchased this because I just, I just thought it was such a beautiful combination, and I actually wear it when I'm going out. Um, when I'm going out like on a date night or something, and this looks just really, really stunning. I've paired it up with my uh, black booties from LV which have like a silvery point and it's just a really really fun clutch so I use it really as a clutch but it is a if pouch. you've been watching me for a while this next one is a new addition to the collection and it is the Kirigami game on set in the beautiful black pattern with the colorful LV logo on there and a gold button in the front and it comes with the medium size pouch in the white and then the baby pouch in the black and I just I couldn't resist because they are just so adorable and so happy so fun and to be honest, 2020 just was not a great year for so many of us for different reasons. And even my beginning of the 2021 uh, has been 
really, really sad. Um, I know some of you are aware that my dad was very, very ill for months and um, just recently passed away. And so I, when this collection came out, I, I just wanted something that made me feel happy. So I did add the Kirigami set to my collection. And now we're gonna get into what I have the most. This is my obsession and we will get started with one of my older pieces, which is my pochette accessoire. And this is the original version purchased in 2003. This is the original strap that came with it. And I have the new strap. I purchased the new strap for it. I don't use this a lot anymore. When I bought it, I wore it constantly to go out. And frankly, it's in style again because all the little bags that you put underneath your armpit is what's in style now. But I tend to not use it that much anymore. Once in a while, I do carry it. But this was uh, the beginning for me of the pochette craziness. The next thing I'm gonna share with you is the mini pochette in the Damier Eben print. And this was the very first mini pochette I ever purchased. I bought this one in 2016, purchased it pre-owned in absolutely excellent mint condition. There was just no marks, no nothing. This one was made in France. I don't know if you can see that. She has a beautiful red interior and she is stuffed. I just used her on my trip, so I have a lot of things in there. And this, my friends, was the beginning of the mini pochette craze, which I am now going to share with you. No particular order. I don't remember the years I purchased them. I'm just, I usually keep them in here in their dust bags. We'll start with the first one, which is the baby. And it's this one right here. When this item first launched, I thought it was the most horrible thing in the world. And I loved the pouch itself but I don't love green and it was like killing me. I was like, oh no, I, I really don't want this. As you can see, it's a tiny mini pochette inside. It has the key clay and it is just, just doesn't have the little, doesn't have the little chain that all the other mini pochettes have. This one is made in France, I'm pretty sure made in France and so I at first was just not interested in it I was like I don't want it I don't like the green blah 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 and then of course it was like oh my goodness wait a second what do you mean I'm not gonna get it I'm a mini pochette addict how can I not have this and luckily my sales associate was able to secure it for me because it was a hot ticket item it's got the beautiful beige in the back it's really really cute and I wear this not that much, but I do use it when I use mini bags. Next up is this one right here. And this one is the beautiful Vivienne in Paris. It is with the Damier Eben print. This one is made in France. And it has a really pretty red interior also. And I absolutely love the pink on the flowers and the accents. It's just really a beautiful one. Oh, then I have this one right here. This one is a larger mini pochette because this is the mini pochette that comes with the bucket bag, the vintage bucket bag, which is no longer available. As you can see, it does not have the little chain either and that's because it really clips onto a chain inside of the bucket bag. And if you're interested in seeing that, I can show it to you in another video because I do own it. This one is made in France 
and I only use this one whenever I use my bucket bag. Next one is the Vivienne in Venice, and this is another gorgeous, gorgeous one. I do love Vivienne, and I thought that all this beautiful water and going down the Venice canals was just so beautiful. It is in the monogram print. It's got a beautiful blue tab. This one also made in France. And the interior is the beautiful, beautiful blue interior. This one is from the Tahitian collection. Absolutely love this collection. Gold hardware. And it opens up to a really beautiful rose ballerine interior. I, I love this one. This is just absolutely beautiful. When this collection launched, I bought a lot of pieces from it that I still have because I love them. And this one again is made in France. The next one is actually one that is a recent addition, believe it or not, to my collection, also made in France, and it is the Monogram Mini Pochette. All monogram, made in France, and the interior is the chocolate brown and I did not own a plain monogram mini pochette I had all the other limited editions and I had the Damier Aben and I had never really purchased the monogram one and as I saw the prices starting to increase I went ahead and said let me just purchase it because how can I have a mini pochette collection and not have the monogram one so I went ahead and got it I'm very excited to have it in my collection and She's just, I really, I don't, you know, I, I haven't used her that much because I have so many and I try and rotate them. But this is the next one that I want to share with you. And this one was, I can't remember what the name was, the Dove Collection maybe, I don't remember. But it's got all these beautiful birds with the Speedy Bandelier and the Noe, Neo Noe bag in the front with a beautiful pale pink at the bottom, the Damier Azore print your gold hardware and again the interior is a really pretty like light beige it has a beautiful pink tab and this one is made in France next up is one of my older ones and this is from the transatlantic collection again in the Damier Azor it's got a really beautiful pink it's got the um, it's got the, okay, I'm going to call it a cruise ship, but it's really a steam liner. I can't, a steam, I, what is wrong with me? Let's just say it's a cruise ship because I, I, I've lost the word. Beautiful, the couple in the front with their LV trunk, absolutely stunning. A beautiful pink tab, also made in France. And the interior, again, the beautiful beige. I know that uh, some people are concerned about the screen printing and about it chipping away. And I know that it does happen after so many years. I have a couple of suggestions when it comes to taking care of the screen printing. And one of the things that I do is number one, I always store them in the dust bag so that they're not rubbing against each other. Number two, when I put them in my bag, again, I put the screen printing against the soft fabric in my handbag and any other SLGs are touching the back side of the mini pochette where there is no screen printing and lastly I rotate them. The, le the more you rotate them the less of an opportunity for them to get chipped because obviously they're not in continuous use but I find them to be really beautiful and really enjoy the screen printing on them. Next up is my Miami Mini Pochette, another beautiful limited edition. And this one was launched along with a couple of other items uh, with, with the cities. And this one has, this one is made in France. It's got the Vaqueta tab. The back has, the beautiful sticker and this is really sewn on this is really beautiful it's 
screen printed Miami in the front. And the interior is the light beige And interior. last but not least, we are finally getting there. We have the beautiful Escal collection mini pochette. This is the only one in the silver hardware in my collection. It has the gorgeous pastel colors made in France with a beautiful pink tab. The interior has a gorgeous periwinkle blue interior color and it is different because you will see that it has little LV logos inside which is very different from all the other ones which have plain interiors. This is a beautiful, beautiful, happy piece and I really enjoy it. All right, guys, that's it for my second part of my Louis Vuitton SLG collection. I hope that you enjoyed it. Other than that, I do have bag charms, but I can do a separate video on that if you're interested. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions on any of the pieces, feel free to leave your questions in the comment section down below and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.